Sometimes I start out with the bass. And then just work from the bottom up, bottom up, bottom up, bottom up. A lot of the, the objects I got were from a farmer that was retiring. I'd buy maybe a, a truckload of old wrenches and horseshoes and farm implements and tools and that type of thing. Kind of pieces I use them like a, like a pallet and go out there and pull, pull stuff out and uh, weld it up and see what I come out with. Well, I love working with old tools and implements because a lot of that was designed. It was designed to be functional, but uh, the, a lot of these things have, have beauty in themselves. down here are, used to be 255 gallon uh, fuel oil tanks that people used for uh, their furnaces and that type of thing and I take those tanks I put them in my pickup two at a time and take them out to the quarry uh, just a couple miles from here and have a there's a guy with a big end loader there and he'd crunch them a little bit and I'd turn it and then he'd crunch a little bit more and I'd say that's good and I like the way I like the way the metal is crunched up and twisted and turned uh, it looks kind of like a piece of paper that you crunch up and throw away, but these are made out of 14 gauge steel, so they're very tough and uh, they pretty much stay just the way they are once you crunch them up like that. I like the lay of the land. I, I make art, I, I was trained in art, I, I enjoy making it. I'm not a good salesperson, so I do the artwork and then, uh, and then I've kind of established this sculpture park uh, where people can roam around and look at different pieces and uh, I, uh, I make the pieces and then put them out in the park or uh, try to sell them, but uh, usually I end up with them. Welcome. Great. <laughs>